Good morning, Fern. This is Dr. Gremlin, and it is Wednesday, March 3rd. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you all to do the pledge after the assembly, because right now, as a major part of our assembly, I want to say happy Read Across America Week. And to celebrate that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read you all a story. All right. My book for today is A Fine, Fine School by Sharon Creech. Pictures are by Harry Bliss. This is one of my favorite books, okay? Because it's about a great principle. A Fine, Fine School by Sharon Creech and Harry Bliss with a dozen pictures. Oh, look at that school. Wow, very cool. Students. Now, Mr. King. Mr. King was a principal who loved his school. Every morning he strolled down the hallway and saw children in their classes. He saw them learning shapes and colors and numbers and letters. He saw them reading and writing and drawing and painting. He saw them making dinosaurs and forts and pyramids. Ooh, he would say, aren't these fine children? Aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? Oh, what a fine school it is. Now, near Mr. Kane's school, Tilly lived with her parents and her brother and her dog, Beans, in a small house next to a big tree. Well, look at Beans. Beans is the catcher. Well, on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly went off to school. At school, Tilly learned her shapes and her colors and her numbers and her letters. When she saw Mr. Keene standing in the hallway, he waved. Aren't these fine children, he said to himself. Aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? Now on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, Tilly climbed her favorite tree. And she took beans on walks and threw them sticks and she pushed her brother on a swing and tried to teach him how to skip. That's good, Bean seems like a good dog. Now, but on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly went off to school. And Beans and her brother did not like to see her go. Hurry, hurry, hurry home, her brother would call. And Beans with a cup of coffee. And one day, Mr. Keen called all the students and teachers together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, we'll have school on Saturdays too. Teachers and the students didn't know what to do because they didn't want to go to school on Saturdays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keen that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers and of all the learning they were doing every single day. Oh, people don't see Beth. And so that Saturday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Saturday. What about the swings, her brother called? Looks like beans and mow in the yard, too. That's a dog. Now that following month, Mr. Keene announced, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on Sundays, too. The teachers and the students didn't want to go to school on Sundays. But no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that, because he was so proud of the children and the teachers of all the learning they were doing every single day. Yeah, don't seem happy. Don't know. And so that Sunday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Sunday. What about skipping, her brother called. And Beans is reading the paper. That's a good dog. So the following month, Mr. Keene called everyone together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school from now on. Let's have school on holidays too. 
on Easter and Ramadan and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah on all the holidays on every calendar. The teachers and the students did not want to go to school on holidays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of all the children and the teachers, of all the learning they were doing every day. Mr. Keene's actually even got more school is way cool banners. Wow. And so even on Christmas, Tilly set off for school. But it's Christmas, her brother cried. What about Christmas? And Beans is having her a gift. That following month, Mr. Keene called everyone together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school from now on. Let's have school in the summer too. All summer long, every single day. Mr. Keene's really excited, isn't he? So summer school is cool. How much will we learn, he said. We can learn everything. We'll learn all about our numbers, our letters, our colors, our shapes, the Romans, the Egyptians, and the Greeks. We'll learn about dinosaurs and castles and everything. We will learn everything. The teachers and the students didn't want to go to school on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays and all summer long, every single day. But no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers and of all the learning they were doing every single day. And so, on the first day of summer, Tilly set off for school. But it's summer! What about summer? Her brother called. And Beans, that cool lifeguard dog. Wow. And that day, Tilly went to see Mr. Keene. Tilly stood in his office in front of his desk. What a fine, fine school this is, Mr. Keene said. What amazing things everyone is learning. Yes, Tilly said. We certainly are learning some amazing things. Fine, fine school, Mr. Keene said. But Tilly said, not everyone is learning. Oh, what? Not everyone's learning? Oh, no. What, Mr. Keene said? He looked very worried. Who isn't learning? Tell me, and I will see that they learn. But my dog Beans, he hasn't learned how to sit, Tilly said. And he hasn't learned how to jump over the creek. Oh, oh Mr. Keene said. And my little brother hasn't learned how to swing or skip. Oh, Mr. Keene said. And I, she said. But you go to school, Mr. Keene said. To a fine, fine school. True, Tilly said. But I haven't learned how to climb very high in my tree. And I haven't learned how to sit in my tree for a whole hour. Oh, Mr. Keene said. Hmm. So that day, Mr. Keene walked up and down the halls, looking at the children and the teachers. Up and down he walked. Up and down, up and down. That next morning, Mr. King called everyone together. The children and the teachers were very worried. Mr. King said, this is a fine, fine school with fine, fine children and fine, fine teachers, but not everyone is learning. The children and the teachers looked very, very worried. Mr. Keene said, there are dogs who need to learn how to sit and how to jump creeks. What do they mean? Was he gonna make their dogs come to school too? There are little brothers and sisters who need to learn how to swing and how to skip. What did he mean? Was he gonna make their younger brothers and sisters come to school too? too? The children and the teachers were very, very, very worried. Uh-oh, that beans right now on chalkboard. <laughs> and you, all of you children and teachers, you need to learn how to climb a tree. 
and sit in it for an hour, Mr. Keene said. The teachers and the children were very worried. <laughs> and so from now on, we will not have school on Saturdays or Sundays or holidays or in the summer. And with that, a huge, enormous, roaring cheer soared up to the ceiling and floated out the windows so that everyone in the town heard the fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers shout, fine, fine, fine. And those fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers lifted Mr. Keen up and they carried him down the hallway and out the doors and through the town and up and down and in and out and everywhere they went. The people said, what a fine, fine school with such fine, fine teachers, fine, fine children and a fine, fine principal. Fern, happy read across America week. That. It's all about the fine, fine school. Have an absolutely wonderful week. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. And we will see you soon. I'd like to welcome our third and fourth and fifth graders tomorrow. Have a great day.